Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to let you know I got some shows coming up. I'm going to the West Coast. Turn it up. Let's go. That's right. I'm going to Vancouver, Canada, Irvine, California, Ontario, California, and San Francisco, California. So if you're in those cities, dude, if you're if you're around those areas and you want to come see me and come laugh, come on out. Tickets are available right now. Just check out the description and get them. Get them right now before they run away. All right. <laughs> well, uh, enjoy the video. See ya. I'm gonna need a bigger bow. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's so good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press the subscribe button for an extra greeting. Folks, last video of the year. Wow, holy smokes. Also the last extra greeting of the year, so. D do with that what you will. Since it's the last video of the year, uh, I was thinking of like, you know, doing like one of those recap videos because I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers do that. Um, but if I were to do that, it would be like, well, I sat in my spare room and complained about this guy. And then I sat in my spare room and complained about that guy. And then I sat in my spare room and complained about uh, that other guy. So wouldn't be that entertaining. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, this year has been fucking, has been fucking, it's been fucking. But seriously, this year has been fucking insane, like, just so crazy. Um, and I want to thank all of you guys, the lovely citizens of Curtis Town, for an amazing year. Uh, we hit a million subscribers back in March, I believe, and now we're almost at two million. We're like 100,000 away, so that's absolutely crazy. So seriously, thank you so much. Um, what else happened this year? Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, I released a, a tattoo collection with the, the company that I left to pursue YouTube full time. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I went on a huge like 30 city tour with two of my best friends. Um, started doing my own little tours and shows and stuff. And those have been a lot of fun. There's a lot more lined up for 2020. And, and I'm also just realizing now that I said I wasn't going to do a recap video, but that's kind of literally what I just did. I just recapped what I did. No cap, that was a recap. But I feel like I can say with confidence that 2019 was like the best year of my life. Like so many amazing things happened. It was just, it was just good vibes all around. And I wanna do something to commemorate. I wanna do something to celebrate this year. You know, I wanna make sure I remember 2019 for the rest of my life. And uh, the best way to remember something is to put it on your skin forever, right? That's why people get tattoos, so they can remember certain things. You see this? teapot tattoo right there i didn't get it for my my great grandfather who played a big role in my life who passed away when i was who, when i was younger and he liked tea a lot he liked drinking a lot of tea no that's not why at all i got it so i can remember that teapots exist and that's the tea on that. <laughs> so a little while ago, I made a video called The Worst Tattoos You'll Ever See. And at the end of that video, I said that I wanted uh, you guys to pick my next tattoo design. And I gotta come clean right now. Um, since that video, I have, I got another tattoo, okay? So I guess you guys didn't pick my next tattoo from that, but you're, you'll be picking my next next one. And that's better, arguably. Also, I got a Gooby tattoo, so I don't, was it worth it? Who's to say? <laughs> Who's better than an old friend to help out when the road gets rocky? Who better than the old friend to help out when the road gets rocky? But yeah, in the description of that video, I left a, an email address for you guys to send me emails, um, you know, artwork, suggestions, and all, and all of that. And as you saw in the intro of this video, I got a lot of responses. It was it was overwhelming to say the least. But I went through all of them. I went through all of fucking, what was it, like 1500 emails. And I wanna say really quick, like I was so blown away by like the fucking, like all the talented people that I saw, like in their artwork that they sent to me. Like every other email I would see, it would be like a, a crazy detailed sketch or like a really unique art style. And it was like, it almost got like annoying. <laughs> like, cool, we get it, you know? Like, we get it. You have a natural artistic abilities and you have a promising future ahead of you. 
Shut up already. So before I get into like the the, the final tattoos that I picked for, uh, for my tattoo, I wanna go through some honorable mentions like super quick. Uh, so we got this one from Maddie Loff. So this is a drawing of me as a star-faced cowboy, which is the title of episode 21 of my podcast, which is available on Spotify and iTunes and YouTube, and all those links are in the description. But it's just, it's just, it's really well done. And I was considering it as a finalist, but I feel like if I'm gonna have a, a, a picture of myself on me, I don't want it to look so good. I feel like that's, I don't know, I just felt a little vain to me. So yeah, but Maddie, great job. Thank you so much, so cool. Uh, next one uh, we got is from Inky Swamp Boy, uh, which is pretty crazy because that was actually my nickname in elementary school, which is pretty nice. It's actually a pretty crazy coincidence. I used to used to do this thing where I would dip my whole body in squid ink and just kind of muck around in the local swamp. Maybe like, hey, there's Inky Swamp Boy. And I'd be like, <laughs> but he made this incredible piece of artwork starring uh, our Lord and Savior. Neil Breen. Uh, it's him passing out and spilling coffee all over his laptop, and it says, Never Breen Better. Ugh. Just, just wow. Yeah, we, can we get a round of applause? I'm clapping with my ass. Uh, as much as I want this tattooed on me, I feel like to do it justice, it needs to be like really big. Like it would have to be like a full back piece, I think. And I'm not ready for that. Neil Breen's already on my mind 24-7. I don't need him on my back 24-7. That's a bit, that's a bit too much. And I want to mention, uh, I got a lot of requests to get a uh, baby bunting tattooed on me. And listen, <laughs> I have some very dumb tattoos, okay? I'm aware of that. Every time I sit down to poop, I have to look at Yee Yee and Gooby. And they're staring right back up at me when I go, when I go poo poo. I have to live with that. But if every time I sat down to poo, I saw Baby Bunting's scary fucking face staring back up at me. Baby wanna hold. I wouldn't go, to, I just wouldn't poo anymore. I wouldn't sit down and poo anymore. I just wear a diaper at all times, I think. And then, and then I'd be the big baby. And then I'd be Baby Bunting. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. But we got some great submissions and great drawings of them, so good job. Baby Bunting Bobo. Give me Baby Bunting Bobo. And the drawings were great. All the, the sketches and everything were amazing, but the most fun I had uh, was going through the emails that didn't have any art attached to them. It was just like, people just wrote the suggestion and that's it. Dude, I, they made me laugh so hard. Like this one, for example, from Grayson McLester. Hi, my name is Grayson. I'm 19 and from Raleigh, North Carolina. Koi fish eating a chocolate chip cookie. Amazing. I'm just picturing it. Like, what if he just sent that to the wrong email by accident? You know? Like, what if you got that fucking email? Got a new email there. What's that? Grayson from North Carolina. Koi fish eating a ch What does it mean? Why did. Who is Grayson? Why is it koi no fish eating or anything? What? I don't, get, I don't give a reason. I don't get it. There's like a, a cork board with like red yarn going between like koi fish <laughs> and a fucking cookie in North Carolina. What does it all mean? <laughs> so that's a great one. But I got another one. And this is definitely the one that made me laugh the hardest. This is the best email I've ever gotten in my life. And here it is. It's from Shanice Thompson. Eat cheese. <laughs> hey, dude. Huh? It, it come again? So many questions. Is it a tattoo idea? Is it a request? A threat? I don't know. <laughs> I'll never know. I think I think the best part of it is that there's like three spaces between eat and cheese. Like it seems like they like took a pause when they were typing it, but they typed in their pause that they took. <laughs> like, okay, eat. Uh, when am I gonna have them eat? Oh, cheese, there we go. <laughs> I might actually get that tattooed someday. <laughs> eat. Jeez. So after going through all the emails, uh, I narrowed it down to four finalists, four possible tattoos for me to get. Quick shout out to Safia Nygaard. I basically stole this whole format from her, but she's great. But since I wanted like a tattoo to remember 2019, I wanted the tattoo to kind of be about like, maybe like a video I made or like something I said in a podcast or something, something related to, you know, Curtis Town and everything, what I do, you know? So the first option I picked was this really cool doodle of me with a fat ass. I just really like the art style and how it looks. I think it's really cool. And I love the facial expression 
Uh, it just kind of looks like even I'm surprised by how fat and juicy my cake is. Wow. The next option I went with is the this cool like police deputy badge that says Curtis Town Mayor. This person, Annabelle Smith, uh, made like a whole like flash sheet of tattoos, like possible tattoos for me to get. And they're all like, like crazy well done. Uh, and they have like reference on my old vines and stuff in there too. Next one I picked is a really bad drawing of me done by Elliot. The world famous artist, Elliot. They never said their last name, so it could be Elliot Moose for all I know. And for all I know, it absolutely is. So yeah, I feel like this is the only way that I would get myself tattooed on me. Um, it's like done really poorly, no shade, no tea. But there's also something kind of charming about it. You know, it's like kind of tongue in cheek because it's like, you know, a, lo a lot of the jokes I say are pretty bad. So that was the third option. And the last option I, I, I picked was uh, this cool drawing from Alice GM, who I guess is the general manager of every Alice <laughs> in the world. So it's this dude with like a long neck and he and, and it's saying like pardon. And I didn't realize it, but I guess like me saying pardon or like fucking pardon has like become a catchphrase of mine, which I didn't intend to happen at all. I think the first time I said it on my channel was the painfully out of focus video about pointless Twitter threads, but first of all, a fucking pardon. Since then, everyone's, I get comments all the time about it. Um, so I thought that would be like a cool way to remember 2019 as well. So those are the four options. I put them all in the, the a poll in, a, in the YouTube community section, like yesterday afternoon. 185,000 votes later, the tattoo that I'm gonna get is, drum roll please. It's none of the options. It's, <laughs> it's a drum roll please written on my fucking forehead. Just kidding, okay. Drum roll please. I'm playing the drums with my ass. <laughs> Curtis Town Mayor badge, yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. I'm stoked. This one looks sick. I'm fucking hyped to get it. I don't know where I'm gonna get it yet. Um, it is currently, what fucking day is it? Uh, it is Thursday, December 19th, 10.30 p.m. My tattoo appointment is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. See, well, I'll see you in like fucking like five seconds, but <laughs> see ya. Kiwi. Kiwi, look at me. Hello. <laughs> All right, it's the, it's the morning. Hello. Um, we are just about to go to Grateful House, Toronto, which is the tattoo shop where my tattoo artist, Lee Stack, uh, tattoos out of. I'm excited. It's so fucking cold outside, and I can't wait. So we made it to Grateful House and I went knock knock knocky and then I went ring ring ringy so they would let me inside that warm warm house. That's my tattoo artist and friend Scott. He's kind of crazy. So I grabbed onto him for body heat and he grabbed a piece of cake. See? That's a fat ass. The cool thing about Grateful House is that it kind of just sounds like you're saying full house and that it's great. Great full house. Scott's also got some pretty cool stuff on his walls, especially Gooby. So I showed Scott the design and he was super stoked on it. So he went on his computer and started the process of turning it into a stencil to put on my big muscly arm. While he worked on that, I slow danced with my camera and answered the age old question, what's three plus one? Scott started getting ready to tattoo me and I forget what we were talking about here but I can only assume he was saying how big and muscly my arms were compared to his. <laughs> if I had a dime. Then Scott put on his gloves because he gives me a prostate exam before every single one of my tattoos, and that's why I keep going back. And finally, he was ready to go. <laughs> like a sim when I lay down. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> so the stencil was on, and I was feeling like a million bucks. Okay. So we're all done, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little joke I say every time I get tattooed. Scott didn't laugh, but I could tell deep down, he really wanted to. So he started the tattoo, and if I'm being honest, it didn't hurt at all. It was really nice of Scott to give me a nipple cover, but since we were having such a good time, my little nose breaths would blow it off every time I laughed. <laughs> oh, I blew my nipple up. The tattoo was starting to hurt, but it was comforting knowing that Gooby was there watching over me. This is Chris. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you gonna waste your last name? Uh, no. 
Uh, the, the two nights before last night I did. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Now the tattoo was going great, but we were getting a little hungry, so I decided to get some food delivered. Let's get a couple cake pops and see what happens. Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> do you think the cake the cake boss, his testicles are cake cake pops? 100%, yeah. I saw you saw you saw Cake Boss's balls. I can't lie to you anymore. The tattoo really hurt, so I had to go to my happy place. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. Wait, I gotta get back. That tattoo's almost done. Shot, 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 shot. Oh, cool. There you go. That's it. Yep. Wow. Scott squirted my tat to clean it up, and he insisted it wasn't his pee, but it smelt and tasted exactly like his pee. So I don't know. Pee or not, the tattoo turned out great. Fun fact, if you take the R away from Mayor, he becomes Mayo, and I think that's just great. Another successful tattoo. Okay. Do I, do I keep smiling? If you want. <laughs> so we filmed Scott saying goodbye, and we wondered if he would come back outside to say goodbye for real. Okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. Cute. Yeah, nice boy. It wouldn't be a Curtis Connor video without an ad read from the lovely people over at ExpressVPN. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you already know all about ExpressVPN. But if you haven't given it a shot yet, now is the perfect time. I've been doing a lot of online shopping these past few weeks using public Wi-Fi, and if I didn't have ExpressVPN, my credit card info would be wide open to those pesky little hackers. Those little hacky sacks. ExpressVPN encrypts your data, which prevents others from sniffing your information over the network. ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds compared to other VPN providers, but my favorite part about ExpressVPN is that they have servers in 94 countries. So if you feel like watching Boss Baby, but only the weird TV show Boss Baby Back in Business is available in your country, just change to the appropriate server, and there you go. You can watch Boss Baby all day long. It's super easy to use, you can connect with just one click, and ExpressVPN was rated the number one VPN service by TechRadar. So take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description, or just go to expressvpn.com slash curtistown. If you give ExpressVPN a try, it directly helps out me and my channel so I can continue to make hot and spicy videos for you guys. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video and many others. Uh, all right, back to the video. Right. Well, that didn't hurt. Uh, I didn't feel a thing. So, but it's been a while. It's been um, it's been like six hours since I got the tattoo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take off this bandage and go from there. It's always hard finding the the tip, you know. That's what she said. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. All right. Even this hurts. Cool. Oof. It looks a lot darker than my other ones, and it's a lot bloodier than my other ones. But it's fucking sick, dude. It's official. When your friend Al asks what you caught today, it's a fish, Al. Okay. Again, thank you so much to everyone who sent in uh, tattoo designs for me. Uh, I know this video is a little different from my usual style of videos, but let me know if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like this. I want to do more different types of stuff in uh, next year. So let me know. Let me know if you want to see uh, some new types of content. Huge shout out to Sleestack and everybody at Grateful House. They're the fucking best. Scott is my good buddy. He does all my tattoos. Chris is fucking so talented and we go golfing all the time. He's the best. Um, just all around, just great people there. And if you're ever in Toronto, uh, if you're in the Toronto area, fucking hit them up. Uh, their info will be in the description. But yeah, again, thank you so much for literally making this year the best year of my life. Um, I was able to do so many things I never thought I was going to be able to do. For the longest time, I've wanted to just do comedy for a full-time job and uh all thanks to you guys that is possible for me um and i uh I, I cannot stress enough how thankful i am to be where i am and to have you guys um you know uh watching my videos every week seriously it means it means the fucking world so seriously thank you so much i hope you had a good year i hope you have a, a gr even better 2020 and i'll see you then happy new year stay safe uh love you guys see ya oh, see you next year See you next year. I'll see you. In, I, I'll see you next year. If you had a, a laser tag slash tattoo shop for my brother's twenty 
fifth birthday maybe it was, we rented out Laser Quest and had like all of our friends and like my mom and dad and shit were there. That's so funny. And we got my mom pretty drunk and she was running around the corner and I fucking smashed into her like pack to pack and she went flying on the ground. Oh my I was like, god. Oh my god, are you okay? And I like help her up. I'm like, are you sure you're good? She's like, yeah, I shot her in the chest. 